Hi friends, my name is Akil Ahmed and in this particular video tutorial I will show you how to execute SSIS package from PowerShell. So this is my profile. I have 13 plus years of experience on Microsoft Technologies. So the agenda of today's video tutorial is how to execute SSIS package from PowerShell. So let's jump to the demo. I got a very basic SSIS package which actually inserts the data from a CSV file into the SQL server table. So it inserts the data from the emails.csv file and if I show you the file what kind of data it contains. So it contains 980 records. The first record is the header record. So it contains 980 records and it's a CSV file contains some person's name and their email information. So this file will be loaded to a SQL server table, email table and right now this table is empty on the SQL server 2019 instance in the work database. So this table is empty as of now and uh, I can show you the OLEDB destination. So yeah, so we are inserting the data to the email table. So maybe I can just show you running the, this SSIS package, like when the SSIS package will run then what it will do. So it is just simply loading the 980 records to the SQL server table. So I can just check the data here. So you can see that we have the 980 records. So let me just truncate this table so that the table should be empty when I will execute the package from the PowerShell. This seems good here. So what we need to do, we actually need to deploy this particular SSIS package to the SSIS catalog and then we can execute the package from there from the PowerShell. So let me just go ahead and right click and deploy this SSIS project. So this particular installation wizard will open and you can click on next and here we need to select SSIS in SQL server so I can click next and now we need to provide the name of the SQL server to which we want to deploy the package to so we will be deploying the package to this particular instance so maybe I can copy the SQL server's instance name from here and I can paste it here now we need to click on connect and then I can click on browse and now here we can create a folder like to which we want to deploy the project to so maybe I can call it like email data load this is my folder name and now I can click on ok so we got a folder email data load now I can click on ok and now I can click on next and I need to click on the deploy so this particular project has been deployed to the SSIS catalog and I can click on close and now I can go back to the SSMS and if I expand the integration services catalog here and then I can refresh on the SSIS DB. So now I can expand the SSIS DB. So this is the folder that got created email data load and if you expand this one so you can expand the projects now. So under the projects you can see a project 106 execute SSIS package from PowerShell. So this is the project name actually that I deployed to the SSIS catalog and then under this particular project we, we got the packages folder and under packages we got the actual folder package.dtsx this package the, the actual package which is actually loading the data from a CSV file to the SQL server table. So now we want to execute this package using the PowerShell. So what we need to do so I got a script actually so this is the script that you can modify you just need to modify these parameters and you can leave all the things as it is and then you can execute this PowerShell script on a PowerShell window. So what we need to do, we just need to set the target server name here. So I already have a server name, this one 2019 instance name. So I can just simply copy the server name from here and I can update the server name. And I will share this script with you so you can download it. So I will share the link in the description of the video so that you can use it in your environment as well if you want. And now we have the option target folder name. So the target folder name is this one email data load. Yeah, I can copy from here and then I can paste it here email data load. And now we need to give the project name. What is our SSIS project name? So this was the project name. So you can just copy the project name from here and then you can paste it here integration services project okay and now this is the package name so, so our package name is also package.dtsx but if your package name is something else then you can update the package name here so i think we are done just modifying this particular script and now you can just simply copy the whole script from here and then you can just double check that there is no data as of now 
and now you can open the powershell script so you can just type powershell and windows powershell should be opened up so this got opened up and now what you can do you can just right click and paste it so this got pasted and it is saying running ss running package dot dtsx and now this is done so the package has been completed you can just paste the script here and then it will be automatically executed so now i can go back to the ssms and i can verify that the script ran fine and it has loaded data so i can just run the select query again so it should have written 980 records so you can see that the ssis package ran fine from the powershell script and there is one more thing that this powershell script you can actually create a powershell file like similar to the command prompt file that we can create the batch file and then we can execute the batch file from like windows schedule task maybe from sql agent job so similarly you can just create the powershell file here and then you can just automatically execute this powershell file from another application as well yeah so i think that's it for today's video thank you guys for watching the video and if you like the video then please click the like button do subscribe to our channel press the bell icon and click on all so that you will be notified every time i upload a new video thank you so much